Eric Joana Mapake na Jesse Were. Hizo ni bao tatu. Ghana wakifanya fit sana, pengine watufunge bao moja. Game itesha 3-1. Haya, wameshasema lakini now we are seeing the team is uh, just arriving. Let me just uh, for the sake of the viewers back at home, the Kenyan team is here and trust you me a lot of expectation from these uh, charges. There is a lot of a uh, belief and we wait and see what exactly will be transpiring. These are the players that are expected to do duty for the national team. This is a side that is expected actually to rack in those uh, goals uh, for Harambe Stars against a side that has been uh, pitted to be among the best teams in the country and there will be a lot of expectation a lot of expectation because we want these players to star the question is is today the day for Harambe stars? Will the likes of Kahata that is walking down there be the difference for this side? Or will it go the Kwesi Apia's side, the man who has played for Ghana for quite a number of time, now is a man in charge, but Harambe stars need to stand out. They need to be counted. Abula, this is the team. This is our team. Yeah. These are our boys. These are our players, Abula. I don't expect it from them, Moses, as you said earlier. And uh, uh, it's about an hour to the kickoff. It is going to be an interesting match. Arambe Stars being the home team, they had to come here first. And uh, now you see the team has already arrived. And uh, uh, with less than one hour, they have to prepare and uh, get themselves ready before the match. It's going to be an important match and uh, a victory. That is what people are expecting here. The thousands of fans that will be arriving here and uh, already those who have arrived here are expecting nothing less than three points uh, from uh, their boys. Three points which will take them to... Uh, and maybe up up the table, that is Group F, and uh, we'll take them to, uh, or we give them a chance to qualify for the sixth time uh, to the Africa Cup of Nations uh, that will be held uh, in uh, Cameroon in uh, 2019. So, as you've seen earlier, that is uh, the Harambe Star squad that has arrived here at uh, the Moi uh, <laughs> at the MIC, that is Kasarani Stadium, ready for kickoff, ready for the match, and uh, ready to do duty for this country. Yes, now I'm joined by another gentleman. Uh, he's our very own uh, Gilbert Wandera. Wandera, I know a lot will be expected from Arambe Stars, but how are we winning this game? The Ghanaians, not an easy task for uh, the Kenyan charges, but we have what it takes to be able to down them and to be able to get that victory. Well, it's going to be a tough game. But uh, we are enjoying the support of the 13th man, the fan. So I think more of it, the, the, the players uh, should look, uh, I mean, the fans should make the difference between us and Ghana. And so I think the fans will play a big role in this match today. And so it will not be a surprise that uh, Harambe Stars get all the three points. So let's wait and see. It's going to be a tough one, but it's doable. Thank you. Uh, you're talking about it uh, being uh, doable, and uh, S uh, Sebastian Minye has not been with this team for that uh, long a time. One will say Kwesi Apia, he is a former player and a former integral part of this Ghanaian side. He knows the young lads on that uh, squad. Do you think that that might be a difference when we go to the pitch at 4 p.m. kickoff? I doubt, because on the contrary, I think the Kenyan players uh, will be motivated. Because, uh, like you say, they are playing under a new coach. And uh, everyone will want to give their best. And so everyone will want to raise their game uh, to be able to impress the coach. And so I don't think that will make a difference. I think uh, that will be a motivation for the local players to give their best because this is a new coach. They want to impress him uh, for, for, for future call-ups. So I think that won't make a difference. Yes, they are expected to make a difference and a lot will be expected from these Arambe stars aside. Remember, it is always important and very, very integral to nurture young uh, talent. I wanted to talk about a different spot altogether, but I'm seeing the Ghana team uh, coming on the, uh, in, in the stadia. So let me digress a little bit and talk about this uh, Ghanaian side. It is a young uh, squad. A lot of people are talking about it and how young the players are. But trust you me, sometimes age is not a factor. Sometimes those players are expected to shine regardless of how young or how old 
they are. This is a Ghana team, Abula, just getting to the fry. And when we think about the Ghana team and how impressive they're expected to be, people are saying that these are talented players, maybe not for now, but for the few years to come. Do you agree with that? Indeed. Uh, when you talk about uh, Black Stars of Ghana, uh, one of the powerhouses when it comes to football, not only uh, in those parts of Africa, but uh, the whole continent. Ghana have won the Africa Cup of Nations four times. If you compare them with the likes of uh, Misri, Nigeria, and uh, the teams that have won this tournament more times than any other team uh, in uh, this continent, so Ghana looking for their 22nd time to represent their country in the Africa Cup of Nations. And uh, if you talk about the squad that they have, the team, uh, the coach Kwesi Apia has selected a team of uh, professionals, people who are playing, uh, who play the trade abroad, players like uh, Asu, who we know has done really well uh, in the English Premier League and uh, also in the Division One League in England. So we have uh, quality players in the likes of Ghana, but as we said earlier, uh, you normally expect the home team to up their game, and that is Harambe Stars. Uh, despite the level of competition that they are going to get from Ghana, they have to up their game and get maximum points from uh, this match. You talk about those maximum points, and trust you me, it will not be an easy affair because of this Ghanaian side, it is a side that knows how to score those goals. In the opening encounter of a Group F against Cameroon, they were able to score five goals. The question is, will they be able to rack in those goals at this point? A lot of expectation. But let's talk about a different team altogether. And when we think about this different team, it is all about Kuala girls. So for Kuala girls, they also say, we want to play soccer and we want to play some beautiful soccer. Thinking about that beautiful soccer and how they're expected to play that beautiful soccer, Kuala Girls are saying we are trying as much as possible to sharpen our arsenal. We are trying as much as possible to make sure that we get a positive result. For Kuala Girls, it is a young team. It is a ladies team. They are trying to do what the other ladies are maybe fearing. But for Kuala Girls, all that they are saying is that we can do this. We can do this in style and we want to do it in style. Of importance is to nurture that young talent and the talent they do have. And they want to play. Even some of the ladies saying we are optimistic that sometimes we'll play for the national team. The coastal based team defied all odds to clinch the trophy, seeing off former champions Wieta Girls and Archbishop Njenga on their way to glory. And uh, we were taking our experiences of last year in Yeri as learning points. We have had good preparation. We have given these girls a lot of exposure. Uh, most of these girls play for the Kwale County Ladies Soccer Team. And I believe that they have what it takes to play for the national team. That victory gave them a direct ticket to the East Africa Secondary School Games in Rwanda, where at the first time of asking, they bagged the regional title, stunning 2017 runners-up Kawempe Muslim of Uganda in the final. We were under no pressure, absolutely, because uh, being the first time, nobody was really expecting us even to go beyond the group stages. So we were basically taking a match at a time. What uh, makes the team do well? They do a lot of practice. Um, the coach is very strong. Uh, every time they're in the field, in the evening, in the morning, and they are fully supported. Their quest for the regional title was spearheaded by the tournament's top scorer, skipper Elizabeth Kiyoko, who has also represented the national team, Arambe Starlets. Kwa proof ya Kenya that hata kama watu ni wadogo selection Arambe Starlet, usiangalie mtu ni mkubwa kiuji. Ama mtu anamiaka nyingi, bol ni akili na intelligent. Usiona mtu wamekuja pale selection kwanza kumidhara huu mtu wa hizi vileta cross ya manini. Mchukwe tu venye hiko. With an average age of 17 years, coach Mukasa Amboko believes his girls have what it takes to star. Abuna Ahmed, KTN Sports. Yes, it is a lot of expectation and we are comfortable believing that Arambe Stars will have what it takes to down the black stars from Ghana. Trust you me, when you play football, it's never an easy affair, but you must dig deep. You must try as much as possible and rack in those positive results. So positive results will always be giving you a reason to smile. And Harambe Stars are fans. They all want to have a reason to smile. Go on, Harambe Stars, give us that reason to smile. It is a cry and the rallying point of many 
people who love football. We love football and we also love boxing. And today, our very own Zarika 